So every time we run the uh, numerical RTA workflow, the software automatically actually auto picks a uh, best LFP, or tries to, uh, and then uh, it also, uh, with that, will automatically pick an associated OIP. Sometimes you actually have a very good feeling of what your LFP is, so you don't want your LFP to change when you change some of the inputs, for instance, like the relative uh, probabilities or uh, any of the initial uh, you know, water saturation parameters, et cetera. So in that case, it can be really helpful to be able to lock your uh, contact of pore volumes or, uh, and or your LFPs. Uh, so uh, because if, if, if I change this line now, for instance, I change my LFP to 35, and then the software automatically picks the closest OIP stem, which in this case is this guy, 823. But uh, let's say I, for instance, I want to honor the LFP uh, or the OIP from my flow material balance in my numerical tier. So, what I want to do is to put in 720, which I think it was around, and then lock that value in, such that when I change this uh, line again now, the OIP doesn't change. Um, and I can do the same thing for, for the LLP. So if I lock in my value here, uh, then I actually can't drag this line up and down. And I have to unlock it again to be able to drag it up. So that's how you can lock these parameters in your numerical arterial.